some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in the courtroom of Judge Simpson once again with a soft heart who, well, just doesn't seem competent enough to be there. And well, as such, Judge Simpson takes appropriate steps to make sure that he is competent enough to stand trial. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Well, that's called the case, People versus Tariq Day. And Uh, I am a Tariq Samara Tariq Day, uh, the executor of the Tariq Samara Tariq Day Living Trust. Well, I freaking die! Oh yeah, those mythical billion dollar trusts that are supposedly in everybody's names. Okay then, yeah, uh, I would declare this guy completely incompetent if, he's, if he actually believes in this BS that we all have that mystical trust that nobody knows about wow and the registered owner of the tariq smart tariq day ex-relation kingdom on wilson estate great so you are appearing here without an attorney i do have to advise you that you are charged with the offense of fleeing and eluding in the third degree under the motor vehicle code that is a felony punishable by up to five years incarceration and or a $1,000 fine plus court costs. Additionally, the Secretary of State could suspend your driving privileges for up to a year. Do you understand that, sir? I comprehend. Do you understand? I comprehend, yes. And in case you're wondering why this uh, soft heart is using comprehend instead of understanding, it's because this is another issue that soft hearts tend to have. They seem to think that understand has a double meaning as if to uh, stand under or be subservient to. And you know what? I've seen so many definitions out there of understand and they pretty much all match up with to be the ability to comprehend knowledge. Pretty much that's what it is. There's nothing about being subservient in there. The court has to further advise you that if you wish to be represented by counsel, the court would ensure that counsel would be appointed to represent you um, in this matter and that you would have counsel if you could not afford to hire counsel yourself. I also wish to advise you that um, I would, the court would be treating you the same as it would the people in this case. There are certain dangers to representing yourself in this matter um, in that you will be required to abide by the Michigan court rules, the Michigan rules of evidence, and all of the cases and statutory requirements. You understand that? I do not. You do not. What is it about that that you do not understand? Uh, I'm going to take a wild guess and say... It's against your religion to obey the laws. Isn't that right? Because I've heard you soft arts say that before. And I'm guessing that is the case with you. Uh, it's against my religion to um, adhere or uh, to assimilate to any um, statutory. Sir, I'm not asking anything about your religion. Yeah, so you just basically stated that it is against your religion to be, well, a law-abiding citizen. Like a lot of frauditors claim that they are, like a lot of soft arts claim they are. So you just kind of called yourself a criminal right there, didn't you? If that's the case, congratulations, dude. You are a complete and total moron. That is a, it is irrelevant to me. I am indicating that in this proceeding, you will be required to abide by the rules of this court. Do you understand that? I'm having a hard time understanding why or how um, re religion doesn't play a role. If Are you stupid or something? 
Stupid is, stupid does, sir. How what? How religion does not play a role? Religion does not play a role in what I do or what this court does. You know, there are certain rules of this court established by the legislature and the Michigan Supreme Court regarding how these particular proceedings will be conducted. These proceedings will be conducted in accord with those rules. Do you understand that, sir? Um, well, according to the American Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, as well as the International uh, or the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, um, the state and uh, the governments um, should... Uh, yeah, dude, uh, what you're talking about only really covers the Native Americans of this country, the native tribes that were here before the white man got here. It has nothing to do with your Moorish religion that the Moors were the largest empire in the world and they were here before the Indians, which that's a bunch of BS right there because there's no evidence for it. So this is a rather pathetically flawed argument right here alone. Well, Judge Simpson is about to put that out there for you. And he's going to let you know how pathetic it is. Sir, you have no authority for what you're about to state because what you're about to state is incorrect. <laughs> oh, I am an indigenous person. No, to have sir, it. what you're about to state is incorrect. Well, if you were on indigenous lands, if that's where you're going, then maybe you might be right. As it stands right now, this proceeding is not on indigenous land. Well, that's a matter of perspective, sir. Uh, no, but it's a matter of law and, uh, and the treaties set forth by the government long before you were even born, dipshit. It is, and the only perspective that's going to matter on that is mine. We are not on indigenous lands subject to indigenous or tribal rules. Is there we are a subject to the rules of the Michigan Supreme Court as they are promulgated both in terms of procedure and evidence. Do you understand that that's what's happening, sir? Um, I do not. What is it do you, that you do not understand? I don't understand. Because I'm going to tell you something, sir. If you are unable to establish or understand what I'm saying, nor and go through this with you again, I have to assume that there may be some reason why you don't understand. This court will take precautions to protect your rights, and I will be sending you for a competency evaluation to make sure that you are competent to stand trial and to stand in these proceedings. Well, I would agree to a, comp a competency uh, if uh, the prosecution, uh, as well as the court and the officers, uh, agree to take a competency. That's not the way it works. You don't get to make the rules. I'm, I'm not. I'm ordering a competency. I'm not making defendant is ordered for a forensic evaluation. Um, I will set a competency hearing this matter for July twenty fifth, two thousand twenty four. At what time? 9 At 9 a.m. Now, sir, I'm going to ask you this. Yes, sir. Because it's going to depend on where you may be staying for a period of time. If they send you information as to when you have your forensic interview. Yes, sir. Are you going to cooperate and attend that interview? Under threat and duress and coercion, yes. Pardon? Under threat, duress, and coercion, yes. No. Not how it works. Uh, I I'm asking you: Are you voluntarily going to cooperate? Uh, I, I say yes. Pardon? I mean, under it, yeah. I mean, is, is this a is is this um uh what are excuse me uh, uh what are you relaying?
Error. Error. Sovereign citizen script not found. Must go back to beginning of script. Must repeat. Must repeat. To in regard, what are you insinuating in regards to where I, I will stay for a time? I am going to make sure that we are going to have our forensic interview done. I've ordered a forensic interview. I am asking you whether or not, when given notice of that interview, whether or not you are going to voluntarily cooperate in that interview. Oh, um, I, I will take the interview. Excuse me? I will take the interview. Anything from the people? Would the court ask the people to prepare the order for the competency? Yes, please prepare the order for the competency, if you would, sir. And then address for uh, the defendant. I, I see on the complaint is 1410 Share Avenue, apartment number three. Is that your address, sir? Excuse me? Yeah, that's correct. Just All right. Me. All right. Very good. Right, so I, I will send a copy to that address. Very good. All right. This time, then, bond is continued. Hey, sir, and I'm sorry. Can I get that date again, please, sir? I can put it on my calendar. July 25th. You were supposed to, so I'm assuming you're waiving it. You were supposed to file your motion with. I did. Uh, I filed it. When did you file it? I brought it in today. Do we have it? I gave it. I mean, it was stamped and everything. I gave it to the uh, reception. Why didn't you file it before today? Well, as I stated uh, at the last hearing, um, no, I don't go through what you we, stated at the last hearing. Well, you actually you knew that. No, you knew it was supposed to be filed before the day. And man, you're going to figure out something. We're playing by my rules, not yours. So you oh. don't, do not say anything because you're going to figure that out real soon. Do they have it? I have not received a response yet. Since I'm sending in poor competency, I can't hear that. I can't hear it motion in any event. So I won't hear his motion at this time. He'll have to refile it timely if he's determined to be competent. So I'll have his bond continue. He can go. What? I didn't get the last part that you said. The bond continued and what? I said you can go. Oh, okay. No problem. You know, sometimes it's just so hard to tell if these soft tarts are actually dumb or if they play dumb just to try to scam the system. This one is no different. Is he actually this dumb or is he trying to scam the system? Either way, he didn't get over too well with Judge Simpson. And, uh, well, the guy's going to be determined whether or not he's incompetent or competent enough to stand trial. Well, I'm sure the psychiatrist will probably figure that out, that he's probably playing this little game and determine him competent to stand trial. And, well, he'll get his his jail time or prison time or whatever. Yeah, speaking of jail time, uh, let's go ahead and watch a classic Sovereign Citizen video where a uh, Sovtart ends up getting arrested twice. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? Hello, Mr. Curry, Officer Remy. I just spoke to you. You're revoked and your place are expired. Thank reasonable, reasonable articular suspicion for pulling me over. Your place are expired as of April 2022 and you're revoked for three alcohol refusals in the state of Colorado. Okay, I need you to read that. Okay, I'm not going to read that. Do you have the entrance to the vehicle? Okay, so I want you to know that right now what you're doing is you are committing deprivation of no, rights. Okay, color that's fine. That's fine. I'm aware of what that is and I understand my legal standing and authority in the state of Colorado, which is what governs what I do. Which is specific to CRS. Also, the United States Supreme Court has. Okay, that, that doesn't matter to me. Has ruled that you cannot impede my traffic and keep me from traveling. Okay, you do not have a. I, I'm not, I, I don't want to listen to that because I've already heard it. I know what the sovereign citizen is. No, no, that's not sovereign citizen. Oh, but you are a sovereign citizen. 
just admit it already, because you are using all the same arguments that any other sovereign citizen would use, including the tired old deprivation of rights argument, which never really works. But it's sure as hell funny to watch you idiots try it on actual judges and watch you get a legal smackdown as a result of that. Yeah, we're good. Do you have your insurance to the vehicle, sir? Uh, Hold on, give me a I, second. I'm, I'm requiring you to require... I'm asking you for your insurance, which is required Just by state law. One second to explain. Mr. Curry, I, I don't want to hear it. Okay. One second to explain. I, 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 I don't need to hear it. That doesn't pertain to me because of what you think that says. I'm familiar with that 18 code, so I have not been convicted of okay. any, no, but any the DMV DMV has revoked your license in the state of Colorado. I understand that. But that is also unconstitutional. Okay, well, that's, you can take that to the Supreme Court. You also took an oath to uphold the Constitution. Uh-huh. And, and I'm explaining stuff to you how the U.S. Supreme Court has already ruled that you cannot stop me from traveling. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm, look what we got here. We got more walking out here, but that doesn't bother me. Okay, so... Well, you do have the right to travel, first of all. I mean, you do. You can walk. You can run. You can even ride a bike. Second of all, stop trying to deflect attention away from your stupid sovereign citizen arguments by pointing at the frauditor that is filming just beyond the range of the officer's uh, camera. And yes, there is a frauditor just outside of the range of this officer's camera, but but we'll be able to see him here in a few minutes. Just not well enough to identify who he is. What you need to understand okay. is what you're doing okay. is violating my constitution. And that is your opinion. It is the 14th Amendment. Mm-hmm. That is okay, your opinion. The U.S. Constitution. Uh-huh. Are you aware of the 10th Amendment of the U.S. Constitution, which gives it the power to the states to matter. dictate law? That's actually the 10th Amendment. Let me explain this to you in plain, simple words, solved hard. The 14th Amendment is about... Wait a second, did that cop just say what I think he said? Did he actually educate that Sovtard on the Tenth Amendment? I've been waiting quite a while to hear an officer use that in an argument. But of course, as we can see here in a moment, that this Sovtard is just going to wave it off like it doesn't exist. But of course, that's because he's never actually studied the Constitution like he says he has. So let's continue on, shall we? What you're doing? Okay. What you're doing? So, are you going to provide me with your proof of insurance or not, Mr. Curry? What you're doing? You don't have a reason of yes, I do. Articulable suspicion for the stop. <laughs> yes, I do. No, you do not. Yes, I do. You're in violation of 42 section one D, which is driving under state Colorado Rice statute. You're also in violation of 42 3114 subsection one A, which is driving on expired plates, which is again a Colorado Rice statute. Obviously, did these, you run the tags? Yes, I did when I pulled up and contacted you at the Walmart. Okay, and what did it come up as? Four of twenty-two. Okay. I want you to know that I registered this as a non-commercial vehicle. I deregistered the tags, therefore mm-hmm. they are not expired. So they're fictitious? No. no. Because these tags I are expired. I purchased the tags. Okay. I they belong to the state of Colorado, actually. I purchased the tags, and then I deregistered them, okay? which means that I purchased my tags. Okay. okay. They're still owned by the state of Colorado, which is why they can Actually revoke. not. I have the receipt for it because right. I, I bought this. I understand that. Do you understand the paperwork yeah, you signed at the courthouse? Non-commercial vehicle. Okay. Okay. This- you don't own those plates. It doesn't matter if you registered them for commercial or not or whatever. Once you unregister those tags, they become invalid and you can be pulled over and fined. You really need to stop listening to all those soft tart YouTube videos. This is Are not. You gonna no. give me the insurance or no? I'm trying to tell you no. That you I don't have probable cause. And I'm disagreeing with you. And lawfully, I have the right to do this. You lawfully do not have okay. the right to do this. We can agree to disagree, but Colorado law, Colorado law requires you to provide proof of insurance to me upon request. On upon probable cause for the stop. No, and I'm trying it. to tell you, you did and not have. I do have cause. probable cause based on Colorado law. You do not. Okay, so you want to refuse that? Because I, I got to go to refusing. I'm trying to get you to understand that what you're uh-huh. doing is And what I'm unlawful. telling you is you're incorrect. No, Softard. Driving in the state of Colorado without insurance is illegal. And the side of the road is not the place to be arguing with it with an officer. If you want to argue your point, go to a court and try your hand with the judge. 
Though I don't think he'll be sympathetic towards your plight. And I'm I am not incorrect. Okay, well, that's your opinion, sir. My opinion think? and the, the oath that I uphold with the state of Colorado is did that you, you don't have a driver's license. Did you know that there's persons <laughs> exempt from driver's license that's also a Colorado Revi Stack? Simple, but did you know that? I understand what the law is. Do you know what law that is? No, I don't need to know. Well, let me look up and I'll show you. I don't. So well, I've got a question for you. If you think you're exempt from having a driver's license, why do you even have one to begin with? And looking through the statutes on what you were just talking about, I don't think you would qualify on any of those. So are you going to give me your insurance or not? Hold on just a second. So I'm Curry, I'm hold on to this point. I've now asked for it five times. At this point, I'm going to step back to my vehicle. It's going to be considered a failed to correct proof insurance because I've asked you repeatedly. That's not what the law reads. The law reads upon my request. I have requested it for a lawful traffic stop. Not to mention your vehicle is also defective with your broken windshield. Hold on just a second so I can give you the statute, okay? Time for it. If you'll send everything to me. Just your information, subject to refusing to provide proof of insurance or anything. Um, I haven't refused yet. I have asked it, and not providing is not following my direction. I have not refused it. I'm trying to get you to understand. No, I'm 10 for And if you'll note that Mr. Owens is also on scene recording. Well, now, it doesn't surprise me that the local frauditor is well known to the police in the area. Okay, then we got unlawful evidence. Okay, so I'm go I gotta go to another call. But I am going to submit this to the DA for an arrest warrant, and that way a judge can review it because I don't have time to sit here and write you a citation because I have to go to this other call. But at this point, you have refused to provide the proof of insurance. I have Okay. I have asked for it. But specifically, the statute says upon request. Are you going to provide it to me now? Upon probable cause of Okay. I'm going to take that as refusal. I'm going to go to the other call, but I'm going to draw this up, and I'm going to write a warrant for your arrest for failure to provide proof of insurance and driving under revocation. Okay. You do that. And if a judge assigns it, then you will go to jail, obviously. Okay? But I understand you are not, you can't drive. So if you drive away from here, it's another charge. Oh, so now you're, now what you're doing. Now, I'm telling you, you can't drive. Now yes. what you're doing is you, oh man, now this is entrapment. Okay, stopping you from committing further crimes is entrapment. Okay, whatever you say, soft hard. No, it's not entrapment. I'm not allowing you to break the law. I'm telling you not to break the law. If you choose to go into your own hands and break the law, that's your own decision, Mr. Curry. Okay. You're not letting me show you the, the statute. No, because the statute I know what you're referring to doesn't pertain to this. Yes, so here's my business card. So since I am releasing you at this point and not in citation, I am going to give you a business card. But I do have to go to this other call. So understand that I will write an arrest warrant and it will be submitted to the district attorney's office for review, which will then be sent to the judge for, um, to be signed. Okay? Yeah, we got your body cam on. Absolutely, the whole time. I, everything we do is recorded, okay? And obviously it appears Mr. Owen's recording it, so if you want to contact him, you can, because he's got a video of it and I'm sure you're recording it. Not part of retaliation, is it? No, sir. No, no you're no, out of the court, you're good. It's definitely retaliation. I don't know what retaliation is, is it? Oh, there goes the persecution complex. It's not my fault that the uh, police were called on me at Walmart. It's not my fault that I was pulled over due to bad tags and no license. Oh, me, oh my, woe is me. I am the innocent party here. So, have a better day. Don't drive. Understand your plates are expired. You don't have a driver's license, and at this point, you've not proven any insurance to me. You have committed unlawful. That's fine. Seizure. If I actually haven't searched your car, so violated my plates. Okay. Okay, soft hard. Please explain this to me of how your Fourth Amendment rights were violated, considering you were not searched and nothing was seized from your person or property. Oh my goodness, you're an idiot! If you would like to file a claim, you can go to Denver and file a Title 1983 lawsuit. You're more than welcome to do so. But as of this point, or you can go down to the police department and file a complaint with the PD administration. False imprisonment. Absolutely, if you feel that way. I have a lawful reason to contact you, but that's okay. It is just one idiotic statement after another with this soft hard. It is not a violation of your Fourth Amendment rights to ask for your driver's license or anything of that nature. He also ran your tags and they came back suspended and your driver's license revoked. End of discussion. So, we'll just go with an arrest warrant and we'll see what a judge says, right? What's it? Go back up today. No, they're on another call. I actually need to go to it. Corey Remy, what's your real badge number, buddy? 712. It's no, on my business no, card. No, the real badge number. 
712. Oh, your PID. I don't have to provide you with my post ID. Really? Correct. You don't have to give me your nope. PID? No, sir. I am not required by law to give you my PID upon your request. He's I have not, to. He's spelling You're to required by what? He's spelling I'm to not identify. providing my post identification number. You're supposed to. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's fine. I'm not giving You're it. giving me a yet. false PID. I'm not giving you a false. I give you my, ba my badge number with the city of Omar is 712. Okay, so, you have a great day. Don't drive because you don't have a license. What was that, Mr. Owens? I said, fuck you. Oh, okay. I just want to make sure I heard you correctly. I appreciate it, sir. Yes, sir, I do. It's recording you, recording me. It's kind of ironic, huh? the horse you rode in on. Okay. Well, have a great day, sir. I appreciate it. Okay. Have a good day, Mr. Owens. Just understand you'll be listed as a witness in this court case. Let's not kid ourselves, people. He ended up driving away. But those warrants were issued and he was arrested six days later. So let's take a look at that video, shall we? What are you guys doing? Huh? What are you guys doing? He's got to go upstairs. I got to talk to him. Here's what I'll Step over here for me. You have a warrant no, for your no, no. He got released later that day, but ended up getting arrested not too long after that. So let's watch that, shall we? Leave me alone, guys. All you gotta do is come and talk to us. I'll tell you what's going on, okay? You got another warrant for your arrest, man. How did I get contempt of court? I, uh, I have no idea what I didn't go to court. Yeah, I have no idea what court. Tell me about that. Can I see the warrant? Go ahead and show us what you in custody. Also, can you tell me what those warrants are for? Do you want it or you want me to? Um, it's up to you. She's going to tell me what those warrants are. I'll take it. Charlie Crew. Crew. There's going to be no bond on May to comply on driving under the influence of a reasonable. DUI. You forgot to show up to court. No, I didn't. Or is it a new charge? Uh, no. Failure to comply. Uh, no. I copy. Can I, can I see those, the warrant? Do those yeah. show new we'll charges? Or no, I want to see, no, 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 see the warrant first. I want to see the warrant. I want to see the warrant first. I want to see the warrant. I want to see the warrant. You have anything on you? Poke, you, poke me, stick no. me, harm me, blow no. me up. No, okay. I don't. We're going to take a bunch of stuff out of your phone. Okay. I do not consent to any of this. Okay. He gets released again, and he is caught driving his vehicle again, and this time it is towed. But of course, he thinks that they need a warrant to even tow it. So let's just enjoy his inane stupidity while it lasts. You do not have permission to tow my vehicle. You do not have my permission. I do not consent to you. You did not. You did not do a traffic stop. You are profiling me. Get away from me. You do not, I do not consent to you. I do not consent to you towing my vehicle. Well, that's the end of his video, folks. He got arrested twice. He got his truck towed. I mean, there was just no end to his soft hard stupidity. I mean, oh my goodness. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. I will see you next time. Bye bye. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?